A brain injury survivor needs your help after a thief stole something very important to him. Our Jenny Young has his story. It's like hearing someone driving a Prius. There's a certain there's a certain noise. A couple of weeks ago, Gabriel Lopez hopped on his brand new electronic bicycle. About an hour and a half after I had bought it, I rode it to New Seasons where I had worked. Gabriel, who worked at New Seasons on Northeast 33rd for many years, was excited to show the new bike to some of his former co-workers. Neither of them were there, so I walked around and then went back to where I had locked my bike up. And someone had cut the pole in half and my bike was gone. He bought the e-bike with money from a special needs fund. He's a survivor of a traumatic brain injury and thought an e-bike would help him get to work without becoming too exhausted. Exhaustion is one of the long-term side effects of the injury. It would have helped me get getting going further distances, like if I had found a job that was even as far as Belmont or Hawthorne, that would be very helpful to get me there. Gabriel reported the theft to Portland police and made these signs that he stapled across the neighborhood, but still no sign of the bike. There's got to be other ways that people can make money. I don't, whoever stole the bike, I don't think that they realize who they stole it from and why that person had it. They just saw an opportunity to make a lot of money and, and took it, took the bike. It's they didn't know who they were cheating it or stealing it from. I don't know if that would make a difference to them. Hopefully it would. In Northeast Portland, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.